Hello, this is day 251 of my wellness journey and I weighed in today at about 195 um, so I am holding steady. Um, a lot has changed, a lot has been um, happening. Um, I, I've been showing some of the um, exposure videos and um, so I'm, I'm getting out um, and I'm getting out at different times of the day now and um, more busy times of the day and that sort of thing, um, <clears throat> which is something that I've been kind of working on. So at the beginning I was really um, you know early mornings evenings when it's less busy but I went out on a Saturday afternoon at like one o'clock yesterday so or yeah so you know um, yes I still feel anxious sometimes and yes I still have apprehension and nervousness and all of these things but I think that the point or one of the points is is that having some of these feelings and doing it anyways um, it's obviously not nearly as intense as it used to be, um, as I was, I was housebound for six or seven years, so that's a long time, um, and so little has changed. Um, it's funny when you start, when you've been housebound and you start getting out again, and I think that you think that so much in the world around you, so like your city or town that you live in or whatever has changed, but nope, <laughs> it, it really doesn't. Everything is the same or for the most part. There's a couple of areas that I've been in that have changed quite significantly in um, that amount of time, but uh, for the most part, you know, most things are the same. Um, I... I did a book a doctor's appointment um, which I did discuss in one of my exposure videos um, I think and um, this is really for diagnostic purposes only um, if there was something um, to arise uh, if you follow medical medium uh, you would know that um, he doesn't really believe in blood tests and he doesn't really believe in uh, most diagnoses so um, I'm still following him and I'm still following um, his teachings and his way so I'm gonna continue to do that uh, thus far it's working you know I've been talking to friends and family and stuff and you know I can't discredit that I can't discredit the success that I am having since switching to medical medium so um, using his protocol um, is helping so uh, that's what I'm gonna continue to do um, I, I really I think about it sometimes because you do have the little bit of self self doubt or doubt in general of um, you know not following the mainstream um, on these things but I've really uh, so this doctor's appointment that I'm going to I'm just having blood work done this is really just for um, an over overall just synopsis. I don't foresee anything coming up into it. I had my blood work done when I was housebound. Um, I did have somebody come into the house to draw my blood um, and most things were normal then. That was maybe a year ago, roughly. Um, and <clears throat> again, I don't foresee anything there. And then um, I'm having a pap done uh, to just get my lady bits checked over. Again, I don't foresee anything and then I'm going to have a general just a physical um, they couldn't do any of these things together uh, and that's all I'm having done so even if something does arise um, with any of the testing it would be uh, something that I'll deal with through medical medium protocols um, <clears throat> and that's fine I feel I feel secure in that decision so but um, I guess you can't care what you don't know so if you, if you don't know you have something or don't know that you need to tackle something um, and something does come up in a blood test, then I know that, hey, let's put that on my radar and let's tackle that. 
Um, otherwise, you know, I don't have any other symptoms, so I'm not really um, too concerned. You know, my main symptom right now is my hair falling out, um, and it is still falling out by the handful. Like, I'm surprised I'm not bald. But, uh, I do think that it's partly just changing my diet and just my body needs to regulate itself. So, we will see. Um, nothing else is really new, just kind of trying to stay positive and trying to stay, um, you know, getting out every... I try not to let too many days go by, you know. I, I really try to think of this as like a normal person so like if you have never or before so like if I had never been housebound or a normal everyday person that has never struggled with these kinds of issues how often would they be leaving the house and you know sometimes you just don't want to like sometimes you just don't feel like it so you have to give yourself those moments as well um, and I do um, but I don't let it go too far. So I try to get out at least every three to four days um, at maximum. Um, and that would be like going out like to a store or whatever because I go outside pretty much every day um, within my vicinity or go for a walk or something. Um, but I mean like, you know, like getting into a car and traveling somewhere or going somewhere. So I have made it pretty much around my city at this point. Um, the furthest point, um, I haven't, like, we haven't done anything. We drove through it. We didn't do anything in that area. So, excuse me, we'll have to tackle that a little bit more. Um, and I'm going to keep trying to put out some of the exposure stuff, some of the stuff um, you know, it's, to be totally honest, at this point, it's been um, fairly easy. Uh, I have moments in these scenarios where um, some things are more, you know, apprehension or anxiety or a little nervousness or something that does come up. Um, and it's very hard to capture that on camera because when you're in that moment and you're trying to tackle the thought process and trying to be positive in your head um, and just being like, okay, I'm just going to get through this moment. And, you know, I'm trying not to like white knuckle through it. I'm trying to be um, in the moment and looking at things and seeing things and talking and, um, you know, because sometimes we do get uh, in our heads. So, um, just focusing on that. Like I said, um, I have a couple of appointments coming up. Um, one's tomorrow and one is not for another month. Um, <clears throat> and my blood, I did go yesterday and got that done. So that is done. Um, and I don't really have any other appointments that I really need. Like I was trying to think of something else to do. So like some of the things that I'm still working on with the exposure is that I still need to, um, you know, go to a restaurant and like sit inside of a restaurant and do that kind of thing, which is really hard because we don't eat like normal people. Um, <laughs> so going to a restaurant will be a difficult one. Um, and, you know, going to the movies. Um, some of those big things. Going inside of a mall. Um, I haven't tackled any of the those things yet um, but I imagine that the confidence will just come with those scenarios because of the exposure that I'm getting through the, the uh, littler busier things that I am doing like today we went to um, the thrift store that we always go to and it was a 50% off sale today holy schmoly was it busy <laughs> Um, and yes, I still had thoughts. I was like, okay. And like, I still run through, um, the, the thought processes, you know, um, exits, entrances, windows, doors, um, what the scenario is going to look like. Like it just, it just is, it still happens. It still goes through my head. Um, I still get anticipation and rheumatoid ruminating thoughts um, when specific things are coming up and it just it just is so it's kind of having those things and doing it anyway um, 
but I do think that following the medical medium diet has really helped in the calming of the nervous system a little bit and making it a little bit more possible for those um, feelings not to be so prevalent, you know, having the anxiety right on the surface or, you know, the feelings, the actual physical sensations that your body goes through when you're having um, panic or anxiety or any of the above. So that's the update. Um, just kind of doing more of the same, just kind of trying to live an everyday life. Um, you know, I'm starting to think about like what it looks like to go back to work and have a job and what is that going to look like and how does that, you know, how am I going to get there? How am I not going to get there? Does it still have to be from home or, you know, those, at least those thoughts are coming to my mind. There was a time when I wouldn't even have thought those things because those thoughts would have just made me spiral out of control. So, um, I am being able to have those thoughts now and, um, things are a little bit more calm and sad. Um, again, lots of spirituality involved, lots of talking and praying and um, just, I guess, yeah. I hope it helps you. I hope that, um, I, I still have the, the self-doubt, you know, I still have the what if this goes away? <laughs> so um, those feelings are still there. Those thoughts are still there. Um, just one breath at a time. But thank you for watching and I hope that your days are going well. I hope that, you know, you're seeing the brighter side of things and you can see a way out of the, the struggle and that we are all in this together. Leave a comment, subscribe, share. Um, I love to hear your guys' stories and um, if you have anything that is similar or you're going through something or maybe you've had a success, anything, failure, share, share, share. Thank you again for watching and I will see you guys again. <laughs> Bye.